select on the menu option and scroll down to weekly timer. Tick to accept and tick to make changes. It's going to ask you for a password which is four zeros. We specify we do want to use a weekly timer. Tick that. Then it's going to ask you which days you want to work with. So I'm going to say select for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Tick to accept. Then we're going to specify what time we want things to happen. So we'll specify have the air conditioning come on at 8 o'clock in the morning. Does it in five minute increments. I'm going to have a unit coming on and I'd like a temperature of 22 degrees. And I'd like the unit to go off at, should we say, 5 o'clock. I'm happy with that. I can save the changes. Bear in mind you can have up to eight changes per day. Tick to accept and tick again. Then press the back button to come back out and back all the way. You notice now on the symbols there we have a new symbol there showing the weekly timer. With the weekly timer we didn't have the option of changing the modes. So what I recommend you doing is making sure the system is set in auto mode and then going back into the menu option and we're going to go into restrictions. Select restriction, scroll down into the operation lock, tick to accept, it's going to ask you for the four zeros. And we'll say yes we're going to use that locking function but we're only going to lock out the mode button. Give that a tick come back out. Now it's obviously locked out the mode button but by doing so there's no possibility of the system trying to start up in cooling mode with a room temperature of 22 degrees when you need heating in the room. 